Hello guys, Reese here and today we're doing another video and today's video is going to be Deadline Day done deals. So this video is going to be all the transfers that happened on Deadline Day. Deadline Day is a really exciting day of the year and we are going to see all the transfers that happened. So first of all we are going to the BPL and the biggest transfer in BPL on Deadline Day was Marshall. Marshall joined from AS Monaco to Man United for around 36 million. Marshall is apparently the next Thierry Henry, but in my opinion, I don't think he is because I haven't really heard of the guy since this transfer have happened. Um, after that, we have got Van Dijk. Van Dijk has been linked with um, Southampton all summer and he has finally joined on deadline day. Van Dijk will be a good centre back next to Fonte and they should be keeping some more clean shoots. Um, next up is Victor Ibarbo, the sweat of FIFA. Ibarbo has joined down Watford on a season long loan. Ibarbo should be okay at Watford, like he doesn't score many goals but I think he assists is quite a lot. Um, but all I know is, he, is that he's going to be in the BPL and he's going to be sweaty on FIFA 16. Next up we are going to the Bundesliga and these are the transfers that happened on Bundesliga on deadline day. And the biggest transfer that happened was Draxler. Draxler transferred from Schalke to Wolfsburg. I can't remember the fee, but I think this is a pretty good um, transfer. Draxler got great potential to be a fantastic player. And yeah, next up is Hernandez, who left Old Trafford to join Bayer Leverkusen for around nine million. Hernandez is a good striker. He had a good season at um, Real. Well, not a really, really good season, but he had a few good games at Real Madrid, scoring them um, two goals in that one game was. One of his best games I can remember seeing that. Yeah, but Hernandez joined by Les Accusant for around 9 million and he should be good at the club. After that, we have got a loan move for Yanezai, who also left Old Trafford to join Borussia Dortmund on a season long loan. I don't really know why Dortmund um, decided Yanezai. Um, I don't think he's going to get in the team, to be honest. I think he'll be more on the bench. That's why I think it's a pretty weird transfer, but yeah, it still happened. Um, yeah, so next up we are going to um, the Serie A and um, the first transfer that happened on deadline day in the Serie A was Hernanes to Juventus. This is a pretty good signing after Juventus lost the likes of Vidal and Perlo. So now they've got more strength now in that centre mid going into this season after losing their first two games. Hernanes is a good centre mid and he left Inter Milan for around 20 million euros. I'm not sure, I can't really remember that. But after that, um, Inter Milan signed a replacement for Hernanes, which was Felipe Melo from Galatasaray. Felipe Melo is a really good CDM, and he's like a Roy Keane. Um, he's a bit dirty, but yeah, Felipe Melo, in my opinion, is a fantastic CDM. And after that, we go and move for Olympiacos, who signed IDA from West Brom. Um, he's a pretty good, decent sign and IDA was alright at West Ham last season so yeah after that we've gone back to the BPL and we are gonna say about all the West Ham signings on deadline day West Ham was one of the biggest busiest clubs on deadline day this year and they signed the likes of Alex Song, Antonio, Moses and yeah. first up we're gonna, we're gonna go with Alex Song who they had on a season long loan last season but now they have completed a signing from Barcelona for the CDM after that, they have signed Moses on a season-long loan from Chelsea. Moses cannot find his um, f his way into the first team at Chelsea, so uh, um, they decided to loan him up to um, West Ham. We've also got another PC winger, which is Antonio. West Brom had a lot of bids rejected for Antonio, but now they finally um, agreed a deal with um, Nottingham Forest for the winger. And yeah, Antonio's a good player. And... The strength in their team, they signed Jalovic from West Brom, who got from West Brom from Hull, sorry. West, um, Jalovic was rele relegated with Hull and now he has joined West Ham to strengthen his squad after West Ham have had a lot of injuries. Next up, we're going to go with Aaron Lennon. Aaron Lennon had a season long loan at Everton last season, I think, but now you've completed a deal at Everton on deadline day. We've also got the likes of Julian Lescott who um, joined Aston Villa after he um, lost his first um, first team position at um, West Brom and now he's signed for Aston Villa. And also Matt Jarvis have gone to Sunderland on a season long loan after West Ham signed a lot of wingers so he probably won't get in the team so he signed for Sunderland. 
season long run. Staying with Sunderland, um, they have also signed Yedlin from Tottenham on a season long loan. Yedlin is a good pacey fullback, and um, Sunderland now will have two good pacey fullbacks with Van Han Hulk left back and Yedlin right back. Another quick um, defender is Maury, Everton's, one of Everton's biggest signings over summer, Maury centre back. Um, they signed him because they was panicking with the likes of John Stones maybe going to Chelsea, but nothing happened. Um, yeah, Maury's a good player. He's, I think he's pretty young, so yeah. After that, we go in with Dyer. Dyer can't find his way into their first team at Swansea, so they have loaned him out to Leicester City for a season. After that, we're going to go with Barini. Barini can get in the Liverpool team. He had a season at Sunderland two seasons ago, and he had a pretty good season, and now Sunderland have signed him for £10 million. Um, Another departure from Liverpool was Elori. Elori can't get in the first team for Liverpool, and he's gone out for the third consecutive season on loan to Aston Villa. Murray has um, left Crystal Palace to join AFC Bournemouth. Murray's a pretty good striker. And to complete this video, we have got Hector, who had joined Chelsea from Redden. Um, and yeah, that's um, all the deadline day done deals. So thank you guys for watching this. It's been a recent. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.